Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Westchester University. If you'd be kind enough to rise now so we can welcome the graduating class of 2019. Corbino, class of 2019, graduating from the Wells School of Music, who will lead us in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. 
Thank you, Catherine and Brass Ensemble. Please be seated. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> And welcome to our celebration of Westchester University's graduating class of 2019. <laughs> Since this is the College of Arts and Humanities, I thought I'd start our ceremony today with a quick poem that I wrote in the fifth grade. <laughs> the deer was hiding right behind the tree. I turned to see the deer, and it saw me. With eyes as large and shiny as the night, it startled, turned, and flashed its tail of white. Deep stuff, right? <laughs> English major in the making, right there. <laughs> if I'm honest, I have to tell you I phoned that in. My teacher, Ms. Byrne, was trying to get us to think about iambic pentameter and about the ways that written forms both contain and propel a writer's ideas. I was interested in talking to my friends so I got words down on the page as quickly as I could and returned to the important world of fifth grade gossip. That's when Ms. Byrne, who snuck up behind me while all of this was going on, gave me a little reality check. Ms. Bacon, she intoned, has it ever occurred to you to do more than you are asked? It had not. <laughs> It occurred to me then, and it has occurred to me often over the last 40 years. Uh, I'm not here suggesting that you always want to do more than you're asked, but I am here suggesting that it should at least occur to you so that when it really matters, you've played the best game you can. You've painted your best painting, given your best speech, written your best poem. That's my wish for you graduates, that you don't take the easy way out when it really matters, that you really dig deep and show the world what you're capable of. This afternoon, students from five of our majors in the arts and humanities are graduating with degrees in art and design, history, philosophy, theater and dance, women's and gender studies. These are students who care deeply about the way meaning is made, created, performed. They care about sharing meaning with others who are different from them through different genres and mediums across different cultures belief systems, social hierarchies. These students have worked as student teachers in our area schools. They've worked at internships in graphic design agencies, technology startups, newspapers, advertising firms, museums. They've studied one of a dozen different languages that we teach here at Westchester. They've taken their enthusiasm for learning to 20 different countries, from Barcelona to Rwanda, from Mexico to Poland, Ghana, South Africa, Ireland, Austria, Italy, Peru. Graduates, you have chosen to study disciplines that developed your critical thinking skills and your knowledge, but you also developed your creativity and your compassion. You are expert communicators, but you're also confident in your ability to work with others who are different than you. And those skills are going to serve you so incredibly well in your careers, in your personal lives, and in your capacity to shape a better future and a better society. Families and guests, I say we learn from them. I say we let them lead and we let them take their incredible creativity and passion for social justice to help make the world a better place. Let's continue to champion their success, but let's take a step back now and see what they can do with these skills and experiences that have nurtured them here at Westchester. Graduates, the world awaits your talents, your compassion, your creativity, your enthusiasm, will make the world a better place. Best wishes, members of Westchester University's Class of 2019. I have a few special guests I need to acknowledge. Uh, guests at the commencement ceremony today include an esteemed group of committed WCU faculty, administrators, staff, alumni, distinguished guests including our student commencement speaker. I ask that all of our members of the platform party who are administrators and staff, please take a stand and be recognized for your service.
And now I'd like to recognize a group that has had a great deal to do with your being here today, the faculty of Westchester University. The faculty constitutes a diverse group united by their love of teaching and their dedication to our students. Without them, the milestones we mark today could not have been reached. Will the faculty in the audience and on stage, past and present, please stand and be recognized. It is now my great pleasure to introduce the president of Westchester University, Dr. Christopher Fiorentino. Thank you, Dean Bacon. Welcome, honored guests, families, friends, alumni, faculty, staff, and most especially, members of the Westchester University class of 2019. I will keep up my remarks brief today. I've learned that the shorter my commencement remarks are, the better received they are. But I'd like to take just a few minutes to congratulate you. Thank you. Not that brief. Okay. I'd like to take a few minutes to congratulate you and remind you of what a significant achievement you have attained today. At Westchester University, You've developed critical skills and knowledge for your career, your personal life, and for a lifetime of benefit to others. Attaining your degree meant expending considerable time and energy, often at the expense of other important things. You may have juggled a job, or athletics, community service, involvement in student organizations, military service, or responsibilities to your family, with the ever-present demands of your coursework. You've worked hard, perhaps harder than you ever knew you could. Only about 30% of Americans have attained a bachelor's degree. Think about that for a minute. That's, that's pretty special. And I think that another thing I'd like you to reflect on is that you came to college, you took on something hard, and you finished it. Congratulations. It's hard to quantify the overall value of an education. Many of the benefits are not related to money. But looking strictly at the financial side of things, it's clear that a bachelor's degree pays off. U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics data show that the more education you have, the more likely you are to have a job and to earn a higher income. Education is one of the surest paths to securing the future that you desire. When it comes to landing your first job after college and later moving on to other jobs, I encourage you to be open to all possibilities. Get out of your comfort zone and apply for those positions that look really great except for the fact that they also look really intimidating. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, do one thing every day that scares you. My second and final piece of advice is to think about what you bring to this world that will make a difference in the lives of others. Not necessarily something that will make you famous or important, but something that you alone can offer. Last year, you and your fellow students participated in more than 700,000 hours of public service through coursework and co-curricular programs. I am proud of Westchester University's strong culture of service, and even prouder when I hear our alumni say that Westchester University was the spark on a lifelong journey of giving back. In ways large or small, I would ask you to discover your unique gifts and talents and cultivate them for the benefit of others. I would like to take a moment to thank the many people who worked to make today's commencement a success. My appreciation to public safety, to our student, faculty, staff, and alumni volunteers, and to everyone involved in planning today's ceremony. As you're probably aware, 
We tried something very different with this commencement. This is about our 12th out of 15 at this point. We're doing smaller ceremonies. They're more intimate. It's more a matter of the, the faculty who taught these students being here, which makes it very special. And, and we're very excited about how these ceremonies are being received. And it took a lot of people to make it work well, so I thank them all. Graduates, you've earned an outstanding degree. Congratulations on this achievement. The world awaits your talents, your creativity, your passion, your big ideas, and your boundless energy. Take what you have learned at Westchester University and make your mark in your profession, your community, your family, and wherever your journey takes you. Best wishes, members of the Westchester University class of 2019. The honorary degree is awarded to recognize service, creativity, scholarship, or other individual accomplishments in the service of humanity. Through the awarding of honorary degrees, we recognize those who have contributed to Westchester University's progress, to the principles the institution stands for, or to its academic or professional disciplines. The areas include scientific, social, academic, creative, business, or public affairs. Honorary degrees serve as a means by which Westchester University can recognize and applaud the achievements of someone who has made significant contrib contributions, whether to this university or to society as a whole. The prestige that accompanies such a degree is not only conferred upon the recipient, but this university gains honor as well through its association with such a distinguished recipient. Today, the honorary degree will be awarded to John H. Baker. Will John Baker please come forward and accept this honor? Whereas it has been the custom of academic institutions throughout the world to honor with a proper and suitable title those who are distinguished in philosophy, science, or the arts, or who have great merit in the Republic, therefore, by the authority of the most excellent trustees through resolution to us, we, the President, Provost, Vice Presidents, and Professors of Westchester University, have admitted John H. Baker to the degree of Doctor of fine arts, and to said person, we have freely granted all rights, honors, and privileges pertaining to this degree. In testimony whereof, the seal of the university and the signatures as authorized by the Council of Trustees are hereto affixed, given in Westchester, Pennsylvania on this 12th day of May, 2019. It is my great pleasure to introduce today's student commencement speaker, who is graduating with a degree in theater arts and a minor in dance. She's a performer, a stage manager, and an enthusiastic supporter of the arts and humanities. Guests, please welcome Maria Carroll, who will present her greetings on behalf of the class of 2019. Thank you, Dean Bacon. Good afternoon. Thank you to all family, friends, mentor, and special guests for being here today to honor the College of Arts and Humanities graduating class of 2019. We did it! Yeah. 
I am honored to be the speaker and represent uh, the hard work and time that we have put in these past years to get where we are today. You would think being a theater major, public speaking would get easier, but I can promise you it only helped a bit. <laughs> um, being the commencement speaker is a huge honor, and these past months I've been racking my brain to figure out what exactly to talk about to summarize my four years here at Westchester University. Before coming to Westchester to pursue my degree in theater, my teachers, counselors, and parents always warned me that you need a strong backbone in order to survive in the arts, which was a well-deserved warning because I was a very, 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 very emotional teenager. Um, so knowing this, I was determined to show how passionate I was and how I can make it in this field. These past four years at Westchester University, and specifically the College of Arts and Humanities, has fueled my passion and shaped the way that I approach life every day. Being in the arts, you will always have an audience, if you like it or not. And every audience member has their own opinion. And my first year here, this idea terrified me. I vividly remember going to my first Acting One class, and we had this project where we had to create a monologue that was the complete opposite of ourselves. So naturally, it was hard. Um, <laughs> so I remember going into class, and my teacher goes, OK, let me see what you guys have. And he had us go up one by one to see what we had and we could talk about what worked and what didn't work. He calls me to the front of the class. My mind starts racing. I start thinking of all the scenarios that could possibly happen. I walk up cautiously and I find myself seated in the center of the room. I open my mouth. Nothing comes out. Nothing. And if you know me, that's a first. Um, <laughs> so. I start saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He holds his hand up and he goes, stop saying sorry. You waste time by saying sorry. What is holding you back? In that moment, I knew exactly what was holding me back. It was fear. And more specifically, it was the fear of what everyone would think of me up there. I wanted everyone to think I was perfect. I wanted them to view me as perfect, but in reality, Making choices and hearing feedback is all part of, the, part of the process. After my four years of hard work on dozens of different productions, I am no longer apologetic for my work. I've gone from being a stagehand running around under a sheet, to making my friends into puppets, to pitching my own ideas, to managing my own show on the road, to commanding a stage as a performer, to being a choreographer, to directing a rehearsal room. I have learned from every single one of these experiences, enjoying their highs and lows, and being able to grow as an artist. I've gone from the girl afraid to try in fear of embarrassment to someone who is fearless and is open to different paths. What is there to lose except the experiences you don't try for? Growth doesn't come from just waiting around. It's strange to think that I reflect on that moment my first year any time I do anything out of my comfort zone. Whether you're an artist, athlete, teacher, or student, being open to experiences and learning from failure is crucial to growth. If you never experience criticism or failure, you won't prepare yourself for the bump in the road. Criticism and feedback, when it comes from a place of care, is the best gift that you can give someone. I've learned to use criticism as a tool to make myself better. Westchester has prepared me for my future because of these experiences. These past four years helped me strengthen my backbone. I've learned how freeing it truly feels to be open to bumps in the road and turn them into lessons. And my last bit of advice, don't let fear of criticism push you away from embracing new experiences. I wish you all the best on your journey ahead. Keep an open mind, thank you. Thank you, Maria. I'm happy to announce that today's ceremony is being photographed by a professional photographer who will take pictures of the graduates as they come up to the stage and as they receive their diploma covers. These photographs will be made available to graduates, families, and friends. We ask that you refrain from taking personal pictures except from your seats. 
I now call on Dean Bacon to present the degree candidates. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates please rise? President Ferentino, I am pleased to certify that the members of the class of 2019 have fulfilled all of the requirements for the degrees which this university awards in their particular fields of study and are recommended to you by the faculty of Westchester University. This is my favorite part of the job right here. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degrees to which you are entitled. President Fiorentino, I have the honor to present these recipients of the bachelor degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities. Marshals, please escort the candidates forward to receive the symbolic presentation of their degrees. Maria E. Carroll, magna cum laude. <laughs> Megan R. Munley. <laughs> Alexandra K. Weinfeld, summa cum laude. Josephine J. Johnson. Catherine B. Minahan, cum laude. Elizabeth M. Schmidt, cum laude. Emily N. McQuiggan, magna cum laude. Brenda Belosi, cum laude. John Elm Albanese. Andrew L. James, magna cum laude. Lara J. Picciani, magna cum laude. Naya A. Cruz, magna cum laude. Morgan A. Faust, summa cum laude. <laughs> Megan M. Sipis, cum laude. Morgan L. Kime, summa cum laude. Mary Grace Merlini. Tori A. Geiger, magna cum laude. Anita McArdle, magna cum laude. Eric P. Woodzanowski. Alexander S. Remlin, magna cum laude.
Jack Rowland, cum laude. Eva M. Hosemez, summa cum laude. Leah D. Mahomes. Emma C. Shipley, summa cum laude. Danea M. Harrell. Christina Joy Thomas. Daniel Rosenberg, magna cum laude. Dylan C. Menhart. William Guo, magna cum laude. Jack D. Robinson, summa cum laude. Jillian E. Trito, magna cum laude. Bailey N. Lozanoff, summa cum laude. Carly N. Gillette, cum laude. Alexandra J. Whitman. Victoria N. Killen, summa cum laude. Mary Kate McInerney. David J. Hoke. Shannon H. Hoffman, cum laude. Taylor R. Goad, magna cum laude. Thomas J. Liss. Michael T. Johnson. Carly J. Aquaviva. Kayla C. Degenshein. Lauren K. Chagabinian. Cum laude. Kaisa G. Bauman. William E. Jones, magna cum laude. Cassidy C. Reddig, cum laude. Colby T. Gonzalez, summa cum laude. Philip M. Bonner, magna cum laude. Nicolette J. Boyd, summa cum laude. Megan B. Appling Lester. Samantha J. Kornecki, cum laude. Kate McDonald, summa cum laude. Nicole M. Strunk, magna cum laude. Michael R. Corbin.
Raymond A. Simkowitz. Kimberly S. Wright, cum laude. Corey Dennison. Tasaya D. Shannon. Lauren D. Townsville. Ona H. Grant, magna cum laude. Mackenzie T. Hintonak, cum laude. Natalie C. Radbill, summa cum laude. Caroline C. Verbica, magna cum laude. Kelsey R. Dowling, magna cum laude. Lauren N. Flegelman. Christopher C. Wilson. Paige A. Whitman, cum laude. Jia Shun Li, summa cum laude. Nicole Bishop. Anton J. Patriarca, magna cum laude. Allison M. Watkins, magna cum laude. Colin T. Fennessy. Casey E. Parker. Alexandria May Hunter, summa cum laude. Taylor D. Mattis. Marissa R. Brewer. Samantha Funk, summa cum laude. Sierra J. Anderson, summa cum laude. Lenaja Monet Little. I get one more round of applause for the class of 2019. talent in this room. Uh, thank you so much. I would now like to reintroduce Maria Carroll, who will lead us in our tasseling ceremony. Oh, 
Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Baccalaureate degree recipients, please stand. <laughs> In symbolic recognition of the re recipient of our academic degree, I ask you now to transfer the tassel from the right side to the left side of your cap. I know the theater students can improvise. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Maria. It's my pleasure to introduce the president of our alumni association, Ms. Lisa Wright Bryant, graduate of the class of 1987, who will present greetings from the alumni association. Congratulations, class of 2019, and welcome to the Westchester University Alumni Association. Now, I'm sure you're saying to yourself, my undergrad years just flew by. I know you're saying that. I know, right? For others, now that was just some of you. Some of you said that. For others, you said these were the longest years of my life. No matter how you look at it, you look at your chapter, your chapter just closed. So just remember to keep moving forward. In the movie, Meet the Robinsons, I love that movie. <laughs> keep moving forward was the recurring theme. The father Cornelius was an inventor who learned and taught that no matter what happens, you must keep moving forward. While you are experiencing mistakes, you experience failures, especially while you're creating, you must keep moving forward. When you would enjoy success, you must keep moving forward. Walt Disney said, around here, however, we don't look backwards for very long. We keep moving forward, opening up new doors and new, doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps us leading down new paths. So creative one, this is my counsel to all of you. Don't dwell in the past. Don't get caught up in your own press. Look opportunity in the face and keep moving forward. And so while you're moving forward, please don't forget about your Westchester University family. We're here, we are your biggest cheerleaders. We are cheering for you as you go out and you conquer the world. But please remember to come back for homecoming, for alumni weekend, or just to come by and say hi. And so remember, as you keep moving forward, share your creativity with the world. Be champions. Stand up for what is right. We are proud of you. You are Golden Rams. That's right. Congratulations, class of 2019. See you at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Thank you, Ms. Bryant. Uh, I know that every member of this class uh, has enjoyed the support of some very special people in their lives. In fact, I want to give you a moment to express your appreciation to your family, friends, and loved ones who have provided so much help along the way. Well, the families and loved ones of our graduates, parents, partners, children, special guests, please rise so that you can receive the thanks you so richly deserve.
I think I learned a new dance move just then. <laughs> I like that. Oh. Thus ends our commencement. As Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, I want to extend to all of our graduates and their families heartiest congratulations. Please rise and join us in the singing of the first verse of our alma mater. You're going to rise. Go ahead. Rise up. <laughs> The words, the words to our alma mater can be found on page two in your program. Catherine Corbino, class of 2019 Wells School of Music, will lead us at the conclusion of the alma mater. You're going to remain standing until the platform party shoes out of here. <laughs> and then you're going to join us at this reception over at the Swope Music Building. Swope Music Building reception after we get out of here. Got it? All right, but first the alma mater.